So we'll move on to uh, you know, respect my philosopher. It asks you to read chapters 14 and 15 from that. So now we have a sense of what a corporation is, how it's structured, a little bit about it. We'll talk a little bit about socioeconomic Darwinism, which basically means like, you know, this is competition between the strong and the strong, or the strong and the weak. And whoever has the strongest will to survive will come out on top. And this is sort of the, you know, the nature of the free market economy, um, as we'll sort of see through the eyes of Matt and Trey and other writers in episodes of South Park. Okay. So in this chapter, uh, chapter 14, the author talks about the value of corporations in our everyday lives and what role they play. Um, I think like we tend to uh, look down upon them. We only think about what they take from us, which is our money, but we forget what they give to us. Things like South Park, things like Doritos, beer. Um, they give us many, many things that we tend to forget about. We only sort of focus on the negative part. Um, but he, he talks about how important corporations are in our everyday lives and the role that they play in our everyday lives without us even knowing it, right? Um, the, the camera I'm using to film this on, made by Canon, the computer I have here made by uh, Apple, uh, this Hydro Flask that I have here, uh, you know, etc. cetera. Um, so anyways, we're gonna look at, you know, what is the, he asks in this chapter, you know, what is the nature of the corporation? What is its essence, I guess, is, is more or less what they're trying to say and trying to figure that out. What, what is it? What is its identity? Okay. And also ask this question, you know, is the quote unquote greater good of, the, of the, the corporation, what they give to us, does it outweigh like the bad things that people at corporations do, the bad behavior at corporations? You know, does it, is that outweighed uh, in this? Okay. And that's something that's explored in South Park. And we'll talk about that through a couple episodes that we watched. Um, Gnomes will watch uh, The Ring and something Walmart This Way Comes. Okay. Um, and he kind of gets into some of the episodes we've seen or, or could have seen, right? So he talks about um, how economics and socioeconomic Darwinism is explored in the uh, 1% where you know, the 99% are blaming all of their problems on the 1%, you know, which if we think economically, um, you know, the, 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 the poor 99%, most of us blaming our issues uh, on the wealthy 1%. Also talks about this in respect to um, Night of the Living Homeless, and then he moves on to Gnomes, and Gnomes is discussed in both chapters. It's probably an episode you, that may have not stuck out to you and you may not, maybe have not ever seen because it's from season two, um, but it was one of the first um, South Park episodes that was, uh, you know, socially had a, lot, a little bit more like satire to it, a little bit more social critique and less just uh, scatological and lower body hum humor. So just some things to think about uh, when we watch gnomes, okay? Um, and then we'll move on. So uh, you have to understand, and I want you to look at, how does the episode gnomes uh, praise the concept of the corporation? Like this idea that like, actually corporations are good and we need them. How does South Park explore that in this episode, okay? What they try to do too is they also pay attention to how they make fun of, and they do this specifically with uh, Tweak's, Tweak's dad and his commercials and how he gets, tries to get the, the boys basically to sell his message. But how is this episode, you know, a parody of how the media represents corporations as these sort of bad, evil entities, right? And specifically liberal media. Um, how does it present corporations as like evil? Um, although necess necessary for, for our society. But um, so how is this a parody of that? How does South Park make fun of that representation of corporations? Um, they also talk about in this episode and ask the question is, who's to blame for like why corporations are, are bad, quote unquote, or can be bad? 
right? Um, is it the corporation, that person, or the board of directors or the, the assholes controlling it, you know? Like, who should we blame, you know? And ultimately, we blame the corporation for the oil spill or the corporation for the, the hike in prices. But who's making those decisions? They never really get the, get the blame. Um, this is a very interesting play on the idea of small companies, mom and pop shops versus big corporations. You got to understand when this came out in 1998, this is when you start to have the rise of the box stores, uh, like nationally. So you start to get more and more chains, larger chains, specifically for retail. Um, and so there was a lot of news media coverage on you know, how Barnes and Nobles is putting out, you know, uh, putting mom and pop bookstores out of business or co Starbucks is putting mom and pop coffee shops out of business and blaming them, these big companies and these big retail spaces for, for putting um, smaller businesses out of, out of business, although that may have not been the, really the, the, what, what was wrong, you know. I want you to understand too, uh, you know, uh, who and what the gnomes represent. So on one level, they represent the CEOs of these, these companies. Um, they're underpants gnomes. They, you know, when you see their business plan, you know, which is basically like phase one, collect underpants. Phase two, something happens. Phase three, profit, right? That's sort of kind of, uh, in, one, in one way, is, you know, uh, a, a, how we kind of think of, you know, CEOs and, and, and corporate behavior is like, yeah, we collect underpants and then like all these things, these decisions are made and then we try to make profit, but we don't really think about those decisions. Um, so the underpants gnomes definitely represent like CEOs and majority shareholders. Um, and so like, yeah, like just worried about the end and, and making profit. Okay, so we're going to watch this episode, Gnomes. Think about some of those things. Think at, you know, oh, Harbucks versus um, uh, Tweak's Coffee um, and how Tweak actually, you know, his, his dad um, is actually more, does more evil manipulation than Harbucks. And there's, you know, definite moral here. And you definitely have, and we'll talk about in the next module, uh, next part of this module, how... Um, you know, South Park does have a very libertarian uh, philosophy and a little bit about what, what that is um, in respect to economics and corporations. Okay, so let's watch this. We'll watch Gnomes. We'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, and then we'll roll on to getting to the ring. <laughs> 